Manchester United have decided to pay 43 million pounds for Andre Onana after a meeting with the Inter hierarchy in Ibiza it has been claimed United have made the goalkeeper position one of the priorities aimed uncertainty surrounding the future of the current number one keeper David De Gea let's jump into it Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU Stand. This is your latest Manchester United news and transfer news as we discuss about Onana. This is this is an incredible news. So this is coming from Sky Sport. This is also coming from uh, Fabrizio Romano. Inter keeper Onana emerging as a top target for Manchester United. Sky Sport News has been told Manchester United are actively looking at goalkeepers. Uh, while David De Gea's future remains in the balance. This is very interesting. Inter Milan uh, uh, goalkeeper Onana is is basically emerging as the top target. He's one of the, the main candidates uh, to replace uh, David De Gea, of course. If David De Gea doesn't sign the new contract, then if he does decide to leave or if United decide to let David De Gea go, Onana is emerging as a top target with one source indicating that a potential approach is being driven by United boss Eric Ten Hag having managed him at Ajax so he knows him well they they play they, he used to be his keeper at Ajax so Eric Ten Hag knows fully well who Onana is uh, United also uh, looked at Brentford's uh, David Rea and Porto's keeper Diego Costa so we are looking at goalkeepers if you honestly ask me are we is that the main priority to replace a goalkeeper at this moment in time i don't think so i mean we do have other positions to fill we do need a striker we do need defenders we do need uh, a cdm as well central defensive midfielder i think those are our priorities i don't think the keeper position is our priority but if if you ask me, I think Onana obviously is a better keeper than uh, David De Gea. And if we do end up signing him, I think he would be an amazing signing for Manchester United. Uh, as you can see, uh, Fabrizio Romano also reporting that Manchester United had uh, new direct talks to be informed on Andre Onana deal in the last 24 hours. He's highly rated by Eric Ten Hag. Like I mentioned, they played uh, he used to play. Uh, he used to play for Eric Ten Hag. Uh, Manchester United still waiting to clarify David De Gea's situation uh, before deciding on an official proposal. So they need to clarify. They need to know if David De Gea is going to stay or if he's not going to stay. I, I believe the contract was signed before. I mean, in terms of the agreement was there, but it was just not official. And I think Manchester United decided to change their mind that they're not going to offer him the same sort of uh, salary that they did earlier on during the season. Let's just quickly take a look at David De Gea's numbers. Of course, if you had to make a choice between David De, uh, David De Gea and Onana, you would say, okay, David De Gea's strength is obviously saving shots, but you're looking at his numbers. David De Gea's uh, shot stopping hasn't been as strong in recent seasons. And you look at these numbers. I mean, 2017 and 2018 was the highest in terms of goal prevention. But last season, he's in red minus. He's not saving a lot of shots. He's not even making uh, shots. We know his weakness is distribution in terms of uh, holding the ball and passing the ball to uh, uh, an open defender. He, he, just, he just can't do that. And we know Onana can give you that. For sure, he is going to give you that. So... I don't see a reason why we should be keeping uh, David De Gea. I mean, I would have said we, let's keep David De Gea because of his saving and because of how, man, how many shots he prevented. But looking at the numbers, he's not even making shots. Last season, we've seen big, big games. David De Gea made mistakes in those games. So I do think that it's probably about time to replace David De Gea. But do let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you think David De Gea 
should stay at Manchester United as the main keeper? Or do you think United should go out there and invest uh, 43, 45 million pounds on Andre Onana? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment sections. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as always. But yeah, that is it, people. Thanks again. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.